keep everybody in their seats, no exceptions, all right? Buckle up, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Gerard is the captain in his new thriller, Plane. And this is a mile high club nobody wants to join. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Trailblazer 119, we are dark. You made me never want to fly again, so thank you for that. By the way, that's a good point. We, we really hope we haven't done too much damage to the no. airlines, you know, because I know they're struggling at the moment. So let me just state, this is a complete work of fiction. Yes. It doesn't happen. And we want the airlines to show this film on the airlines. We don't want to be banned from, from you know, from the airlines. That's not, that's not okay. But I have a feeling it might <laughs> just might not happen. So much of it feels real. It's terrifying. To me, that's the biggest compliment because to be up there in the sky in a storm, to lose power on a plane, and then to have to land and find out that the one island you're on is maybe the worst place you could be on the planet. Then we're done somewhere in the Jolo Island cluster. It's run by separatists and militias. The Filipino army won't even go there anymore. Butler, who starred in dozens of action movies, also produced the film that hits theaters January 13th. This is an emergency. I'm Captain Brody Torrance. I like this guy. Mike Coulter co-stars as a passenger being extradited on homicide charges. We're gonna need your help. They say redemption can be found in the most unusual places. There's such a great dynamic, I think, between the yeah. between these two guys. We're getting off this island. What do you think it is about disaster airplane movies that appeals? I think it's the familiarity in every person's you know journey when they're getting onto a plane. We just, we, it crosses our mind. I mean, we're, we get on this plane, statistically speaking, they're very safe, but every time we feel a little bit of turbulence, every time that we see a flight attendant sit down into that jump seat or that, that yeah, that those seats and, and buckle up, or the flight or the uh, captain comes across the intercom and says, guys, you know, a little turbulence coming, buckle up, or you hear any sort of inflection in the voice of sort of desperation from anyone, or someone screams out, we just start to think the worst. You might find yourself squeezing the person's hand next to you or the, or the you know, white knuckling it because you're just so afraid. During the screening, he was squeezing my hand yeah. the whole time. Well, I just like it his hands. Like, I just yeah. like his hands. Look at you. <laughs> and speaking of touching gestures, Gerard revealed he sent heartfelt wishes to his friend Jeremy Renner, who survived a severe snowplow accident on New Year's Day. We made two separate movies many years ago in Iceland, and we became friends. And, and he is one of the nicest, and, and amongst actors, he's everybody's favorite, because he's just, he's a super talented guy in every area of life. And he's just a lovely, humble guy. And yeah. like you said, you know, it's so interesting that even the neighbors were like, he would go and be, you know, clearing out the streets yeah. for everybody else, but not tell them. Mm -hmm. And and actually I did send him a text and, and just to say, dude, you're, you're such a warrior and the whole world is behind you right now. We're all cheering you on, my man.